This is a video I never thought I'd be making, but I kind of feel like if I'm going to start a YouTube channel that people can trust, I should share what has crushed my dreams. When I decided to go big into mining, it was June 2021. Bitcoin was at 35K. It was after its 60K drop. I knew at that point I wasn't building for that cycle. I knew I was going to be building for the future. You've got to always protect your investment first. It's got to be your number one priority. It's got to be a mindset. When I set this up, I had three main goals. Number one, if everything failed, I would be able to pay out of pocket for any expense that I had. Number two, I was going to target that no more than 20% of my income would go to mining expenses and loan liabilities. Number three, I was in it for the long haul. I knew a bear market was going to be in the future. My plan was that I would cash out at least 50% of everything I made and stack it in stable coins aside so that I would have money to run me through the bear market. With that in place, I started ordering all my equipment. 3060 Ti's, 3070's, 3080's, about 60 GPUs in totals, and three S19's. One week later, this happened. It's July 2021, Bitcoin's at like 35k, my brother-in-law is coming next week to help me build this sweet little mining room that I had planned for the garage. It was gonna have a hot aisle, a cold aisle, it was gonna be a nice little setup. But all that was completely cancelled now. I had two weeks until my surgery, the doctors put me in a walk-in boot, so I set up this little space in our house's mechanical room, put up a rack, and as equipment started coming in, I just started filling cases as much as I could. The breaker panel was right in that same room, so it was easy for me to hook up 240. I was gonna do the best I could with it. I was able to get four full server cases filled up before my surgery came. The next six weeks, I was completely bedridden. It sucked. But the mining was going pretty good, actually. I had 40 GPUs going. Another six weeks after that, I was in a wheelchair. I'd have my wife bring mining cases to the kitchen table and bring me parts and I was just like kind of slowly setting up miners as I could. Fast forward a couple months, I just about had them all set up. I was power limited in that room so I sold the 3S19s for a profit, bought more GPUs. So all in all, I had about 4.4 giga hash. All through the winter, it was really great, it was smooth sailing. I was out of work for so long, I had no sick leave. The mining was an absolute blessing to our family. It was sustaining us plus more. But the one big problem was the heat. It was the middle of winter, freezing outside. At days it was 20 and it, in the teens. And we had to run the air conditioner all winter along. There was no chance that I could survive the summer. The miners were supposed to be out in the garage. By that time, my wife was so sick of just miners everywhere, she was not even having it. She wanted them to be outside. So December in 21, I went and I ordered this shit. Six weeks later, mid-February, it was here. Electrician was waiting to do my 400 amp service. But of course he couldn't get parts because back then it was the COVID backwater deal going on still. Thankfully I was walking again. I'm going back to physical therapy. I'm still weak. I'm still in pain, but I am obsessed with getting the shop done. And that's really around the time that I made my first major mistake. It's February, 2022. Bitcoin's around 38K. ETH is around 3K. GPU profits are down, but the GPU prices are still high. So I decided to sell what I thought soon to be dead GPU miners for a strategy that would move me into ASICs with less profits, but more stable income. I was going to be just over one petahash in Bitcoin miners and a little over nine gigahash in Litecoin miners. It's the beginning of March. Things were falling in place just as the ASICs arrives my electricity's getting hooked up. I'm just about to go back to work. The shop's not done, but everything is done enough so I can start plugging in miners. That's success. Plus, I was looking forward to getting income from my job again because we had been living the last six months completely off of mining profits. It was a huge blessing for us, but it was squashing my plan 
to have a bear market stack so I could get through the bear market. Through March, everything was going good. Bitcoin was back up to 40K. The miners were working awesome. The cooling design was working awesome. The power bill was through the freaking roof. But, I mean, I kind of knew that going into when I switched to ASICs. I was breaking my risk rule too, where with GPUs, I didn't want to be over 20% of my income to be paying bills. But with the ETH merge coming up and ASICs not going offline, I felt like you know, I was still de-risking by going into ASICs. Next couple of months, the miners were doing awesome, but the market kept dropping. ASIC cost was high. The network keep going higher. Bitcoin falling. And I don't want to hold on to coins in a falling market. I'm just selling everything. Just trying to get as much as I can saved up for this bear market coming. I get my electric bill with zero warning, zero notice, no nothing. I look at it and my rate had gone from nine cents to almost 15 cents. This has gotta be a mistake. I'm calling people all week long, nobody knows what is going on. Finally, I get a manager on the phone. He lets me know that the power company's natural gas contract has expired. Gas prices are at all time national records. Their gas portion of the bill has exploded and there's nothing I can do about it. I can't express how devastated I was at the time. Bitcoin had just made that huge drop from 40 to 29, and I was just holding on to profitability as it was. All the work, all the planning I put into this place, and in a moment's notice, crushed. From the time that I started going back to work, I had only been able to save up about 10K for the bear market. I bet it wasn't two more weeks. Bitcoin fell off another cliff down to 18K. Any hope was completely gone at that point. So a couple days later, I went out to the shop and turned off my ASICs. So July, August, September go by. I hadn't been out to the shop hardly at all. Oddly enough, though, like my spirits are kind of evening out now. I'm getting comfortable in my dark little pit of failure. And it was a good month because September is my wife's and mine anniversary. We went on a little mini vacation. We had a great time. And um, on the last day, I got a call from my boss with actually kind of some good news. Something I've been wanting to happen, but not really expecting for a while. He just heard about it and he's telling me it came from corporate, kind of unexpected. And it starts Monday. I get off the phone with him. I'm in the store with my wife and... I start running the math on this situation and I'm starting to realize like I'm going to take a $13,000 a year hit because of this. And that's what I was using as my final fail safe. If there was any amount of comfort in my situation at that point, it was gone. It was completely gone. Like, I knew at that point, holy shit, I got to get out of debt now. That week, I just start liquidating miners, liquidating miners, because, like, it's going to put my daily life at risk. Mining had been an absolute blessing for my family, and now it's, like, totally became this burden on us. For me to have to, like, dismantle it was one of the hardest things that I've ever had to do in my life, especially knowing that I was responsible for the situation I was in. It's March 2023 now, and until three weeks ago, I hadn't been out here in at least five months. The heartbreak of this situation for me is like, still really raw and a lot of that is due to the dream that i have that i was building here not a dream to be rich it was just a life raft to be more financially free three weeks ago when i came out here i put this so far out of my mind i forgot what was in here an S17 Pro, a couple of GPUs, PSUs, motherboards, whatever. 
And literally, I'm at a point in my life where I cannot accept any risk right now. I can't even afford to run that S17. The reason why I came out here after so many months is that I also can't afford to do nothing. I'm always going to be grabbing for that freedom to like, break financial chains. So yeah, I can't afford to take any risks. I can't afford to run an ant miner, but can I afford to run a CPU miner? And what's that going to do for me right now? Putting back, you know, 25 cents a day, a dollar, two dollars a day for me. What it's going to do is say, I'm not quitting on my dream. So here I am today. I got wrecked as hell. I'm still feeling broken hearted, but my God, have I gained some perspective in all this. I really do truly believe, like if you use a mistake and learn from it for good, then you can turn that mistake into a win. Mining is fun, but we, we seek a better future. What is the most valuable thing that I have right now to invest? And that is time and knowledge. And I feel like that in a way is best spent by sharing it with the mining community, trying to give back value to other people out there that might be going through some of the same things that I've been going through. The reason I felt compelled to make this video, the reason it had to go out is so that this channel can start with a solid foundation. The value here is gonna be trust and respect. Trust that I've been through hard situations and I know where a lot of y'all are coming from. And respect because I know the things that I say, it might not be advice, but I would never want to steer you in the wrong way that might slow you down from reaching your dream. It's time to build it back up. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. If you need any help at all, if you ever have any questions, just hit me up, comment down below, be good, be safe, and keep passion.